Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you from a rocket garden. Hey, the soil is so fertile here in Alabama that we just got to water it and rockets sprout up. Well, <laughs> speaking of fertility, these rockets sprung up from the fertility of the mine and the able hands of the people who built them. And I knew a lot of people who built these rockets. Unfortunately, most of them have passed away today. Look at these. I knew a lot of these people. And what I want to tell you about these people is they were not entitled individuals. They were hardworking individuals. And uh, they, uh, they scarcely could have achieved this had they not, at some point in their life, had a good measure of tough love. Because what was required to build this stuff was tough and uh, a lot of uh, the young people today I just did a video uh, on uh, our young people and the challenges they have talking about our national disintegration and that's where we're going to get if we don't change things and the sense of entitlement will get us there so fast it's not funny you're not entitled to anything you're not entitled to the breath in your lungs you need to earn it and uh, look I work on this stuff and yet I shovel horse business. You can see it in one of my videos where I'm talking about uh, worm bedding. I shovel worm business. I got my hands all down in that stuff and yet I've run the halls of Congress. I've had dinner with Secretary uh, Norm Mineta of, uh, who was actually a Democrat in the Bush administration. I have uh, had dinner with movie stars and astronauts. I work for an astronaut. I work for others and uh, all that aside. I'm not here in this video to talk about flat earth. I don't want to get a lot of comments on that. But you know what? Check out Galactic Gregs. He's done a video on that. So that's my other YouTube channel. So let's, let's focus on tough love. You know, I said that we have a problem with our, our, our the young generation. They feel entitled. Uh, they're not accomplishing anything. The wage grade class among them just flat don't know how to work and won't work. They think they're too good to work. That's why I'm telling you, despite all these things I've done, I'll still get out there and shovel horse business. And frankly, I don't have any respect whatsoever for people that think they're too good to do manual labor. If you think that, you don't get any respect from me at all. The uh, truth of the matter is, this is what builds our country. This is what maintains our country. It's what builds us a future. And actually, this may be the, one of the leverage points to excite and motivate the young people to do things. It's the idea of a hope for the future, although the ones we're looking at here comes from the far past. As old as I am, uh, some of these rockets like this one here, the V2 and the A1 over there, they're older than I am. And uh, uh, actually, these rockets here, well, the, uh, the Redstone started before I was born, and actually that flew uh, before I was born. So uh, that's uh, the Explorer 1 satellite, uh, or a mock-up of it on top of a uh, Redstone rocket that was called the Jupiter C for some strange reason. That's the Redstone missile. These are older than me. That is not. But uh, for the most part, um, yeah, we're looking at the past talking about the future. And we're going to talk about our kids. And it's by the fact that we can uh, come down on the, the millennials and the younger generations uh, for the unwillingness to work. You know, part of that blame belongs to our generation, the baby boomers, the Gen Xers, because we did not have tough love with these kids. It's like this, I'm a gardener, I have a greenhouse, and anybody that gardens or buys plants from a greenhouse knows this. They know that you gotta set those plants out in uh, the weather gradually. You just can't take a plant right out of a greenhouse and put it in a field, it will die. Why? Because it's not tough. A plant's gotta be hardened off. You have to introduce them, like under a shade or somewhere gently, to the kind of environment they're gonna be facing here in the world because they're not ready for the sun, boom. <laughs> they're not ready for that. Uh, yeah, I'm on an army base here. NASA here is located on the Redstone Arsenal. That's why we got Redstone rockets behind me. Uh, NASA Marshall Space Flight Center grew out of the army. All right, all that aside. Yeah, we got testing going on here. So all that aside, the tough love, the, the, the hardening off is very important to know about because people require that too. The plants have to be hardened off of the sun, the wind, they will die if introduced straight from the greenhouse to the field, the potting. So 
the same thing happens with our kids. They're not hardened off. We've uh, raised them too easy. They've had a sense of entitlement. Uh, they uh, get all these uh, participation awards, you know, for, for doing things. Excuse me, yeah, even here at work now, they, they're, they're real happy to give out these group achievement awards. Uh, what is that? So what? Group achievement award, ha ha. The, uh, the key thing is, what can you do? There is nothing wrong with competition. There's nothing wrong with it because it gives you the sense of striving to be able to achieve something. It sets goals. We need goals. We have to set goals for our kids and we have to be tough with them. What, one of the best things that, that, that you can encounter in life is to go to boot camp, go to basic training. I think everybody needs to go through that. Why? Yeah, I've been there. It's good to have a drill sergeant yell down your throat, to stick his face in your face and yell at you in the top of his voice and tell you what a worthless piece of you know what you are, to tell you that you're a maggot. And what's that do for you? Well, it breaks your sense of entitlement, don't it? And that's good. People need that shattered because you're not entitled to anything. I don't care who you are or what you think. Even the royalty from England seems to have some sense of that in cases. Uh, you know, you take Prince Harry, he's out mixing it up with troops all over the world. Uh, no, I have no love for British royalty at all. And I, I really, I really uh, find it abhorrent that the American society is so fascinated with that. But hey, if these guys can get out there and mix it up, you think you're entitled? Uh, if I can do the things I do and work with the people I've worked with, have run the halls of Congress, uh, have designed flying in space, uh, why should I not feel entitled? I don't, because it's, a, it's, it's a, an illusion. Uh, you're only entitled to what you work for. Now, there are people that are down and out. I'm not saying we don't give them a helping hand. I'm not saying that we don't help those that aren't able to do for themselves. We should. That's part of being a civil human being. But there's plenty of people out there who could work, should work, who won't work. And again, that comes back to us. What, so what am I getting at here? Parents, if you got kids, don't be their friends. That's the worst thing you can do to them and you. I've seen it, I've seen it happen, and I've seen it go really bad. The kids won't respect you in the end, and your friendship will be shattered and tumultuous. Don't be their friends. You're the parent. That don't mean you don't love them, and they will know that you love them by what you do for them, by the standards you set for them, because a kid really desires form. They desire structure. They need to know where the boundaries are. You set boundaries. Don't let them just do anything under the sun. Don't buy them just anything. My kids love me, and I never just went out and bought them anything. In fact, usually when they asked for something, the answer was no. No. No is a short little, very important word that you need to know how to say to your kids. No. Why? What, you shouldn't have all this stuff. It's too much. You shouldn't have so many things. It's not good for you. You know, you don't want to spoil your kids. You don't want to... So you've got to watch that. You have to have tough love. You, they need to earn their way into the world. They need to have a sense for earning their way in the world. They need to have a sense of pride for accomplishing things. Celebrate them when they accomplish things. Heck yeah! That's when you give them things. No participation when I was there, I showed up, I picked my nose, so I deserve a trophy? <laughs> Give me a break. No, that should not happen. The school systems that promote that stuff is, man, those teachers ought to be fired, the principals ought to be fired, the superintendents ought to be fired, their boards of education should be fired for coming up with such hokey ideas. And uh, let me tell you something, that is some of the worst stuff you can do to a kid. It really is. And uh, so be tough, be tough, be the drill sergeant, but love your kids. You don't, have to, well, you don't have to yell at your kids like that, but what I'm telling you is create form, create stu structure, let them know where the boundaries are and say no, no. It's one of the best words in the world, no, because it provides a line of demarcation. <coughs> no is a part of structure, it's part of tough love. You got to be tough with your kids. You got to harden them off before they can go in the world. Don't just leave them out there to be softies and then toss them into this world. How do you expect they're going to handle it? How do you expect they're going to survive when it hits the fan? In the military, how do you expect a troop that never got a drill sergeant yelling in their face is going to face uh, an enemy when he's a captured POW? Oh my gosh, they'll rat on their best friends and just cause they get, uh, uh, I don't know, a little pressure put on them. And uh, their friends are allowed to get killed. You know, you got to have people that are resolute, that are tough. 
And we need that in this world. We need tough people to survive the tough times that are coming. We do have tough times coming. And most of the people are just not going to survive. They're so ill-prepared for what's coming down the road that it's not going to be a pretty picture. So you can help by preparing your kids. Harden them off. Get them tough. Give them tough love. Yeah, it may be hard once you've let the cat out of the bag to start reining it back in. But you got to start somewhere. You know, so, hey, son, daughter, I'm sorry. You know, I've really not been fair to you because I have let you uh, uh, basically get spoiled and you're not ready for this world. So I have come to realize that I have to help you out. I have to help you because I love you. And so I'm going to give you some tough love. And it's, and it's going to prepare you for the world. You may not like it today, but you will thank me for it later. And you will love me for how I have helped you now. You got to start somewhere. That's just an idea. You got to start somewhere. I also do believe that we need organizations, like I mentioned earlier, scouts. There should be camps the kids could go to where they get a sense of achievement, not participation awards. Sense of achievement that they can uh, excel and do something, even if it's climbing over a, a wall, you know, like in basic training or, or climbing a rope. You know, a sense of achievement personal achievement what they can do but mostly they also have to have goals you need to set goals and aspirations for your kids there needs to be something for them to look forward to in the future don't fill them full of ah, oh, everything's just bad 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 but yeah i talk about a lot of bad things that could happen here but my other channel galactic greg's is about good things that could happen here and in galactic greg's you'll see me on a few videos standing here at this rocket garden rocket park i won't do that too often here on green greg's but i've done this today to talk about tough love and the fact that these things wouldn't be here today if the people that conceived and built them didn't have at some point in their hands some tough love if they weren't hardened off they wouldn't have had what it took to make these things come to fruition like i said i know these guys i knew a lot of them most of them are gone today but that's what it took and uh, they made some amazing achievements and look, you know, this big old rocket here was flying in the early 60s. That's a Saturn I rocket, Juno rocket, V2 rocket. Yeah, my dad was on the receiving end for where those were coming into London. But he also met my friend who designed the injection system for the, for the engine, actually, Conrad Dannenberg. And I've actually carved Christmas turkeys for Conrad Dannenberg on quite a few occasions. So I've been friends with a lot of these people, even the people that were at the very inception of this stuff. And Conrad was the last guy who'd do anything for kids and young people to motivate them, irregardless of race, religion, or creed. He wasn't that kind of an individual. He was an outstanding individual. And you can be too, and you can start that by helping your kids and trying to motivate them and inspire them. And uh, there's a whole big future that we could achieve. There's a lot of good things that could happen if we can inspire the kids and, and keep this country from falling into a state of disintegration. But we got to get to work and we got to work fast because we're in a really bad pickle right now. And the best place to start is at home. Start with your kids. Start with your, you know, whatever kids you get access to. Talk to them. Help them. Encourage them. You may not be in a place where you can afford to be tough love to those kids because you may not be a parent. But as an adult who can be influential in their life, you can give them a goal to work for and, and provide a little tough love along the way to achieving that goal. And especially if you're working as a scouting organization, a community organization, there's so much we can do. And if we don't do it, if we don't help our kids, how's this country going to run when you're old and sitting in a nursing home? The plane's going to be falling out of the sky and crashing into the roof of the nursing home you're in. The nuke plants are going to go into meltdown and the radiation's going to cook your goose. I mean, come on, guys. We can't, we can't have a, a, any kind of civilization if the people are all feeling entitled. And that's happening all over our Western society. So you got to wake up. Give the tough love. That's the best thing you can do for these kids. I got tough love for my dad. My dad told me that hard work never killed anybody. Now, my dad is 98 years old. He lives by himself. He still mows his yard. He cooks. He cleans. And he still drives. And there's nobody taking care of my dad. Yeah, people visit him and look after him. But he lives by himself. He's independent. And he worked real hard. Real hard. He was a, uh, a veteran uh, in the war against the you-know-whos. I don't want to say too much because you know how the vi videos get banged from uh, the sources that control all this stuff. But listen, the key thing is we can do a lot for our kids. And I don't know, I still think this nation has gone too far. I don't think enough people will pick up on the message. I think we're heading for disintegration. 
However, there can be bright points within our society even then. The points of our communities where we gather together and, and try to have bright uh, centers of excellence that survive and all the stuff that comes at us. I do believe we should have communities, tribes, neighborhoods, and that people need to pull together to have those points of excellence, those places where we can survive, thrive, and stay out of the hive. And that's what I challenge you to do. Thrive, survive, and stay out of the hive. So uh, I really appreciate everyone. I know this is the kind of message you want to hear because I'm ranting on a lot of you who've not gave tough love to your kids. But there's always a time to change. There's always a time to try to fix things, to help things. And hey, if you didn't help your kids, you got grandkids. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, we like to spoil our grandkids. Uh, and that's cool if the parents are giving them tough love. You know, it's good for the grandkids to have somebody to go to that, that they would never do anything to embarrass. And usually that was a grandparent. Uh, so, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But please, band together. Oh, yeah, support my channel. I got links below. Uh, I do sell worms, ship them all over the United States year round. www.greengrapes.com. Uh, Prepper Supplies, my Patriot Supply, excellent uh, place for Prepper Supplies and then National Disintegration. You're really going to need them. I'm expecting food prices to skyrocket $25. Uh, excuse me, if for a 25 year supply, uh, you can buy them for essentially $6 a day for, for one person meals. You can't beat that right now. About two something a, a meal. That's excellent. Spectacular. Now, uh, also, uh, you need to grow gardens. Now, I don't, know, I don't know if there's many rocket seeds out there, but True Leaf Market does have seeds, heirloom seeds, that's what you're going to need. And uh, microgreens, you can grow indoors, and even without power, you can uh, sprout them and uh, get a whole lot more nutrition out of the sprouts than you would out of the seeds. And I'll do a video soon on seeds of survival. So make sure, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and bang the update notification bell for future videos. Again, we can aspire for greatness to achieve things, to build things. But builders typically are people who are willing to get their hands dirty. They're people who are willing to work. They're not people who feel entitled. So please, uh, let's, let's break that cycle in our society. Let's break that mentality. It's worthless mentality. The people who subscribe to it, subscribe to it, don't have any respect from me because it's destructive, don't you see? So please, let's uh, turn this country around. Tough love. That's the answer. Thank you for watching.